Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Energies for your person, the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups, the Judgment and the Empress. Between you and your person, we have the Sun. Meeting energies, the King of Cups and the Two of Wands, the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, the Oracle Cards, Truth Be Told and By the Book. Guys, there is a past person that can be interested in the opportunity to reach out to you, kinda out of the blue, after the situation with you has gone super quiet, super cold. I wouldn't say that this person was your official partner, but I would say that the two of you have been seeing each other for a meaningful amount of time, but this person, even if they got the chance to share with you intimate moments, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, kept you waiting, Seven of Pentacles, because they were not sure, Seven of Cups, about what they wanted in the Romantic Arena. So there was a one man up, one man down dynamic, six of pentacles at play against you. And you paid a price for that. If we think about anxiety, discomfort, you know, is this person serious? Do they really want a connection? Why are they behaving in this way? Their words maybe do not match with their actions and so forth. And I want to say that it was you that made the decision to pull back from this person because you didn't like the agreement. You didn't think that it was possible for you to amplify your inner happiness in a connection with them. If we follow the sun, you started to focus your attention on your work, the eight of pentacles building up your finances, taking care of your career, trying to achieve the goals that can be important for you. And this person kind of faded away. Now they are back, Knight of Swords. And they can rush in almost as if they are in a hurry to reconnect with you because they want to make clear to you, truth be told, that you are the one that they want. And the connection with you is the one that they want to nurture and take care of. They hope that the surprise effect can play in their favor. I wouldn't be so sure, guys, because the Six of Swords can be not only a decision that you have already manifested, but also a decision that you should reinforce if we think about the chance to leave behind the struggles that this person contributed to bring in your life. Because if we follow the three cups down below in the four of cups card, we can think about a fleeting casual connection, maybe with interferences. And this is the perception that you got of the situation with this person. And maybe you didn't like that because it was not a by the book situation for you. If that's true, that clarity will serve you well when this person is going to ask for another chance because it seems that at the crossroads, two of ones, which is a soulful decision for me, you will have the opportunity to keep feelings and emotions, king of cups, under the surface of the water, rough waters, I want to say, because of how this person is built. And then you can make the decision to hand over the word to this person in order to make clear, truth be told, in your own way, that the connection belongs to the past. There can be a powerful ally in your favor, which is your intuition, the black cat, the best friend of the Queen of Wands. I think that the physical side of the connection between the two of you was all right. It was fine but other factors were not cool, guys. And now this person thinks that they can reach out after a while. They can say, it's you, the one that I want. And they kind of expect that you can welcome them back in your life like nothing happened. 
I wouldn't hold my breath about that. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? We have the Nine of Cups, careful what you wish for. Queen of Wands, recurrent energy. Knight of Pentacles, this can be an apology, but also for me, the offer that never comes. In this case, this person can try to talk about a committed relationship, but it's like, because of the Four of Cups, you are not really interested in the opportunity to reciprocate the offer. Seven of Swords, lies, betrayals, deceits, I would say a lack of trust, mainly. Because if this person took advantage of you, six of pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic, you saw that, you felt that, you can remember that now. That's why the connection seems to be doomed, guys. And I want to say also that this person can make you uncomfortable because of the nine of swords. Oh my goodness, they are back. What do they want? Not only I thought they were long gone, I hoped they were long gone. And so this can even be a desire to avoid this person as much as possible. I think that there is going to be a conversation, hopefully a brief one, but it can be necessary for you to let this person know that you are super busy, you know, you do not have time to rehash the past. You shared something, yes. Whatever happened, happened. What matters the most is that it's not going to happen again. This is the point, if you ask me. What's the obstacle other than the past? Let's find out a little bit more. If we look at the mask in the Truth Be Told Oracle card, some of you can even say to this person that they played you, they fooled you somehow, some way and it's not going to happen again. We have the Seven of Cups in the obstacles. So this person was not really focused on the connection with you in the past, and now because of that, you can remember what you've gone through, and this can be another factor that fuel the lack of trust honesty, respect, fairness that we can associate to the Seven of Swords. Two of Swords, closed off posture for the lady, a posture opposite to the one of the man in the Two of Wands. Some of you do not want to talk with this person. This is the main factor, guys. You do not want to talk to them. You do not want to see them. The lady is blindfolded. You do not want to open up because you have been hurt. This person doesn't think that they did something wrong. This is the point. So from their perspective, the connection went cold because you had something else to do in the meantime. And now they can try to paint a different picture by saying that the fact that you were not in contact made them realize that you are the one that they want. I think that you should be cautious and you should keep your guard up. Hermit energy, bring a light in a situation that can be questionable. If we follow the sun, it is fair to say that you have already done that. Eight of pentacles, recurrent energy. Too busy. I don't have time for you, person from the past. I am encouraged guys, by these energies, because I feel that some of you are going to handle the situation in the best possible way. This person can be persistent because of the Knight of Swords. It's also possible that some of you are dealing with an individual with a tricky character because of how, you know, erratic can be the energy, the Knight of Swords, all over the place when it comes to communication. And the Seven of Cups can be about confusion. This person 
may not have a clear mind, you know, despite the clarity that we can associate to the judgment. But in this case, this is about someone that shows up after a no contact situation, you know. This person doesn't seem to be stable, you know. And maybe you didn't like that as well along the connection. Let's ask for guidance about the situation. Definitely not a by the book type of connection. We have the Knight of Swords. So truly careful what you wish for, because if you give space to this person to be in your life again, you can be up for the same old nonsense and BS. I do not think that this is a wise move. King of Pentacles. This can be an analysis about commitment, but also, guys, the fact that you can be a stable person, grounded, well-built, reliable, trustworthy. This person can be drawn to you because you may have the qualities that they do not have. And this mismatch can be something that is not in favor of the connection. Because there can be the risk that this person relies on you way too much along the connection. You can pay a price for that because there is a lack of balance. Six of pentacles at the end of the day. That may not allow the connection to be a positive situation. Two of ones, we have seen the energy, recurrent one and the Three of Swords. They have done enough. You can say that. This person has done enough. They hurt you, disappointed you, mistreated you, broke your trust, broke your heart. If we follow the Seven of Swords, pick your poison. What matters the most, guys, is that you don't owe anything to this person. You don't have to say yes to their offer to try again. If they make you uncomfortable, you have to stand in your power, in your dignity, in your integrity, and make the best possible decision for you. If you need support from people that you can trust, ask for that support. This person will try to reconnect with you. They will not be successful if we follow these energies. This is not a by the book connection, but because you have read the book about the connection with this person, now you have learned something. And this lesson is going to allow you guys to be truthful and honest when you say that this is not the situation for you anymore. And this person will have to accept that outcome because this connection is about to be over for good. And this can be an absolute blessing for you, especially moving forward. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.